Jim in. ...did an event in South London protesting against drag queen story time. I find it shocking how commonplace a drag queen story time is becoming. Don't get me wrong, adults reading stories to children is a wonderful thing, it truly is. And having been a school teacher, I can tell you I wish more parents would read to and with their children. However, why does the LGBTQ plus lobby insist on conflating adult entertainment with story time? This baffles me. Drag queens are, after all, adult entertainment. Men dressed as women, often scantily so, in a sexualized manner, performing a strip club routine, usually for cash. It's not my cup of tea, but in a liberal society, I appreciate that it is how some people want to spend their time. Over 18s, that is. In my opinion, for children to be exposed to such behavior is surely not age appropriate. As a former safeguarding officer, I can tell you until recently, it would most certainly have been considered a safeguarding concern. Yeah. So what has changed? I've seen too many videos surfacing of drag queens performing in front of bewildered young children with adults watching on in amusement, including allegedly in the local area I was protesting at yesterday. Whatever happened to protecting the innocence of children? Turning Point UK organised the protest this weekend and invited me to speak, which I was happy to do. What I was not expecting, though, was the busload of rent a mob hard left LGBTQ plus activists to turn up. They yelled expletives, they threw eggs, and they held up some really horrendous signs, most of which I cannot repeat on air. But there was one particular suspect sign which read, Queer Joy is for All Ages, which seems to expose their motives. They're saying the quiet part out loud. The hard left and the MSM will label the protests as far right, but since when has protecting children been an issue reserved to the far right? Once again, in a liberal society, adults can live their lives however they see fit, for the most part. And what goes on between two people behind closed doors, between consenting adults, is between them and their God. However, it's when they attempt to bring children into it that I feel, as a society, we should stand up and say no. So I leave you with the question. Ask not why your children need to spend time with drag queens. Ask why drag queens are so keen to spend time with your children. God is gay. God is a lesbian. God is trans. God is gender non-binary. God is straight. God is cisgender. God is black. God is white. God is Middle Eastern. God is Asian. God is differently abled mentally and physically. God is able-bodied. God is you, and you are God, because you are a reflection of God's divine image. God is gay. God is a lesbian. God is trans. God is gender non-binary. God is straight. God is cisgender. God is black, God is white, God is Middle Eastern, God is Asian, God is differently abled mentally and physically, God is able-bodied. God is you, and you are God, because you are a reflection of God's divine image. Do you, either of you have any questions for Ms. Pentecost? I like your eyeshadow. Oh, thank you! <laughs> yeah, you like her eyeshadow, that's great, yeah. Yeah, maybe she'll let you borrow it. When you're older, like when you're allowed to wear makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of the things I think is great about Miss Pentecost is she reminds us that we, we follow a God who calls us to not conform to things of this world. Uh, that we're supposed to be transformed by the renewal of our minds. And that means that what I think today may have to change tomorrow if I continue to renew my mind. And it's so cool that we serve a God that calls us to continue to grow and continue to, to change into something new uh, and to not be bound by the ways that the world confines us sometimes, that, that we're supposed to live differently. Twelve-year-old daughter recently came to me and said that she was transgender. She wanted to be a boy. And as a Christian mother, there was only one thing I could do. And that was help my son transition so that he could be the young man that God always intended him to be. Support your kids. It's what God wants you to do. What you gonna do about it? I'm gay. I like being this way. Don't care what you have to say. I'm gay every day. Okay? I'm gay. Hey everyone, Pastor Laura here with your weekly, daily, monthly, 
reminder that Jesus is not white. Jesus is a brown Middle Eastern man. Also, none of the characters in the Bible are white. They are black and brown, Middle Eastern and African people. So, yeah, that's some white supremacy bullshit you've been taught. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs>
act contrary at the left marches for the environment just simply because uh, don't get me wrong before all this st stuff happened they had me under the fear of propaganda myself and i thought oh it is so terrible but that being autistic oh, it, it it made me inclined to go and do the research and actually look into this stuff and once you look at this stuff and you actually analyze the data yourself it all falls flat on its face so it's not worth a wank and it's all bollocks and it's all the form of control as as you know simon so yeah that's basically it, i think oh jim you've got such you've such got a, a such a great uh turn of phrase there <laughs> you know, it's, it's such a wank i, I love well, it well, yeah. Mrs. Gold Eagle, I asked Mrs. Gold Eagle, okay, to come on to come on the screen with me tonight to come and speak with you, because uh, Mrs. Gold Eagle. So uh, th this is from Mrs. Gold. She said, "Tell Jim that uh, when she runs up to you at the protest and gives you a hug, it, yeah. she it, it, it's 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 because it's because she loves you, but not 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 in like that way, uh, but but in uh, very similar to what I was saying before. It's like you know, it's like you're the prodigal son of the of the gold of the gold family." Uh. Oh, I'm just so God. sorry. So tell, sorry her that... said, tell her I said thank you, and uh, that will make my missus feel very. It will give her some sort of coping for when she sees it on stream, so you understand <laughs> what's going on. So yeah. Uh, well, I did want to tell the audience about a, a misunderstanding, um, uh, because because you are you are on the spectrum, uh, uh, Jim, and Mrs. Gold Eagle thinks I'm on the spectrum as well, um, and I I tend to agree with her. I am a little bit ADHD, and. Um, I wanted to tell the audience, okay, the story of when, because uh, uh, I contacted you and I sent you a video, and I, I'm, I am going to tell it, Mrs. Gold Eagle. She said, "Don't." She said, "Jim, Jim, Jim will think you're, have, you're having a go." And I, I said, "No, no, I, I got to tell it because it, it was really funny." Well, I found it funny. So I sent James a, a video uh, uh, when uh, David Clues was showing off uh, the selfish T-shirt. So it's got selfish written on because it was basically it was what we were being called uh, in, in the truth movement. You know, that we were granny killers, uh, you know, uh, and selfish and all of this. So I, sent, uh, uh, so I sent I sent Jim this uh, uh, video of it and said, would you like a T-shirt? Well, Jim obviously didn't watch the video. And so the T-shirt the he thought he was going to be getting was the one that said uh, wanted for crimes against humanity, uh, you know, with Chris Whitty and uh, Matt Hancock on. Um, so Jim then got the got T-shirt the and he, ring, he rang me up and he said, Oi, what the fuck is this? What are you doing sending me? He, he actually thought that I think that I'd made up. You know, I thought you were selfish, and I made you up a T-shirt that was selfish. <laughs> and then, and then things got really weird, Jim. Right? Because um, uh, I, I'd invited you down to South Wales. We literally we live about seven miles away from the beach, mm. and uh, uh, you're not the only person I've invited down. I uh, know. Oh, I don't. I don't doubt that for one minute, <laughs> Simon. It's it's not. Uh, it's not but a personal it, thing. Don't don't yeah. hold it against me because I ain't come to visit you. So I would make yeah, it's a I long know, way. I know, I know, I know. It, it was just at the time I, I was like thinking like to get to get away because all of this shit that was going on, right? We got to remember it's a bit like um, there's a, a film with the uh, uh, the aliens, Harrison Ford. Um, it was part of the Temple of Doom uh, series, uh, and they had these yeah. aliens. Okay. And what it was, was they transferred all this information into the human brain and the human brain couldn't take it. And, and so it exploded. And, and I could feel that with you, that you were you were you were literally you had so much shit going on with your life. Right. And it, it was like that's why I reached out to you and said, look, come on, mate, we've got a spare. We've got a spare room here. Come, 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 come on down. But uh, uh, what, what I was going to uh, uh, ask you and talk about, I want to talk about the things that you don't talk about uh, like so for example in that david clues interview uh, on there uh, you you didn't talk about um uh, pa uh, and about uh, nick uh, um uh, nick cotton uh, and you know all, all oh, i love you simon yeah. do you know that i love you so much end that end that up with i love you no homo that's that's, yeah, that's sorry that's, sorry that's, 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 that's my catchphrase but um, uh, so what, what, and and other things as well, because there will be other things that you that you'll want to discuss. Just before I 
to hand it over to you because this is something that everyone says about Vince Cawthorn and things like that. It's for fuck's sake, Gold Eagle. You've got this guy on the show and you've done nothing but talk all the way through the interview. We don't want to hear you. We want to hear Jim. I, so I'm going sh- to shut up and you, 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 you do some talking, mate. Oh, um, thank you for, thank you for, for, for that, Simon. Um, so where, where to start? You, you brought up Patriotic Alternative. You want, I suppose you want me to talk about my views and patriotic alternative. I mean, I really should have brought it up with David. I, f- I was kicking myself. I was really eating myself for not bringing it up with David. And I sort of... But anyway, so... It's like this. It's my understanding. Because you got to understand, the first time I met anyone from PA, I was interviewing them all. I gave them a platform. I, t- I heard what they had to say. I didn't know I didn't know nothing about them. But that's what I do with everyone. I give them all, like... I'm not sort of about trying to obviously like the evidence speaks for itself you don't need to propagandize things so much in this day and age there's so, so much abhorrent behavior going on you don't need to do that so we give everyone an equal an equal try and then you find out you hear a few things and you think well is there any truth to any of this what i'm hearing for instance defense and a put it like so basically, there there's been a known paedophile in the books, and like the head of the organisation has sort of vouched for him and said, "No, it's nonsense. All this, that, and the other." But that turns out like he, he is a known paedophile, convicted or whatever. But he was trying to no, he was trying to downplay downplay the situation because the fella's retarded or something. But um, that's not just it. There's also there was an event in Blackpool, a British National Party event, because uh, he was head of media, or something along them lines, uh, Mark Collette, the head of Patriotic Alternative, and he was actually caught in a room with <laughs> what appeared to be like two 15-year-old girls, 15, 16, whatever. One was 18, one was 15. Yeah, Alleg- I mean, <laughs> that, uh, yeah, allegedly, allegedly, if you're willing to believe that, I mean, I know what I heard, I know what I see, and to me, but this is the thing, right, so people want to try and explain that away, yeah, and I'm saying there's only a certain sort of breed that will listen to that being explained away, yeah, where you can, when you come from where I come from, if you, if there's two 21 year old fellas caught in a room with two little girls, there's no excuse for that, mate, there ain't yeah. no excuse for that, it's... It's got it's got nonce written all over it. Well, this is interesting because uh, when people talk about controlled opposition uh, and uh, MI5 and all our our security services is that they have to have something on you to be able to control you. You said earlier on, you said you was having a pop about your age and that, but this is the thing, once you come of a certain age, you see things very clearly and very easily because you've got the wisdom, Simon, right? You know you know yourself, you know, like, it's, that's, that's exactly, that's exactly the same thing that the craze were running fucking 60 years ago, 70 years, or however long ago it was, you know, like, it, that's the same MO, it's the same way they do things, they, and this is another thing, people say, oh, if if there was any truth to it, the mainstream would have hung him already. Well, no, not if he not he he he's he's, 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 a, he's a cog in a bigger machine with a bigger fucking ambition that the that has got the state behind it. You think they're just gonna blow it up? Hello, baby. Hello. You right? This movie is why I always give you a cut, right? Because you're an old school proper vlog. You know, we need more of you. That's it. Thank you to encourage you tell all your friends stop drinking the tap water whatever all the young ones okay we need more of this (laughs) (laughs) if you think about the the jeffrey epstein okay the jeffrey epstein story is mainstream and and basically uh the way i see it is it's all it's all a honey trap you know, is that, and it's out there in the mainstream. So I'm not talking conspiracy, you know, because this is what, what they've said is that they were videoing all these people. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, this is maybe, it does explain why there are so many people that have been shilling, uh, you know, that 
the, the stories and the narratives, the agendas, which, uh, you know, we, we, we've already debunked it. You know, it, it's uh, I, I don't need to go to a fact finder uh, or a fact checker uh, because the facts are out there. And, and I've got the same as you've got is we're critical thinkers and we're looking at stuff, you know, for, with, a, with with a critical eye. But uh, anyway, let's 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 uh, um, um, take it a little bit further then. So, for patriotic 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 alternative, uh, and those people that that call them out. On what do you want to know about? You want to speak about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick, Nick, well, uh, I don't Nick. know. I don't know what is the, what is there to say about. I mean, I speak to Nick. This is the thing. I've emailed. I've emailed Mark Collette. I've been left with no. I've been left with no other option to publicly call him out, yeah, because I've tried to converse with him in private. He doesn't like the way I sound, doesn't like the way I come across. I'm not proper enough for him. So how do you how do you know how do you know that that he's that you're not because proper? because that's okay. this is their whole thing. They have a whole image and they're trying to portray a whole thing. But the the whole thing about this image and that is it is not representative of the of like the the majority of the demographic. Like there's. This is the thing. Uh, they think it's all prim and proper and like you're going to be politicians and this and that. Well, first of all, you're more likely to get prescribed as a fucking terrorist organisation than you are a political organisation. Like, that's without a shadow of that. You've got people, there's two people actively getting prosecuted on fucking terrorism charges. Like, it, uh, how much more clearer does it need to get for people? Like, I'm not being funny. I'm not, like sponsor anything but if if you you've got half a fucking inclination go and read moths to a flame written by nick griffin he will tell you and in it's a much free as well that, it's, that is it, free you can download that as a yeah. pdf it from. reads listen it, it does read like it's uh it's trying to do colette a favor and it does look like he's still nannying colette for in a weird sort of way but it, it's it's a coherent argument and it makes a lot of sense so it's worth reading but yeah. as for as for Nick, I don't like uh, I don't really know much about him. He was there at the he's been at the um freedom stuff, hasn't he? Like I've I spoke to him a bit through that and I speak to him a bit more now. <clears throat> and that's it about, about it really. Yeah. Um well, I, I don't know if you when um uh, I saw you speak it might have been on one of his, on one of his streams uh, on the on the Saturday night and uh, uh, you said, Oh, I don't understand you know, I don't understand it. But you missed. I actually went to try and uh, download it to show it to you, uh, David. What David Clues said about it. I don't want to harp on about it because I I, I don't want vision within all you know this because uh, I'll be as bad as Anna Breeze if I you know. No, but it's not. It's not. It's, hang on, hang on, hang on. But this is something that needs to get cleared up. It's not about division. We can never sort the wheat from the chaff if we can't have a talk and root out what's not right. Like you, I don't know. Am I allowed to? Are, do you? Does are you? Do people know about your ethnicity and that? Well, that I'm white or I'm ex, ex Jew, born Jewish. Yeah, or... yeah, yeah, like that. Right. This I is was, what I was. I was, I was starting to worry. What? What? What, what do you know? No. I... Well, well, no, but I don't. I'm sorry. I should. I shouldn't have said nothing, Simon. No, but the point is, like these people. Like they wanna, they wanna laugh on about Hitler and things like this. Like they, with all this, like I'm not being funny, being autistic and that. There was a time where like Roman salutes might have been funny and this sort of shit just to be a bit edgy and that. But they fucking these people that proper simp on Hitler have proper spoilt that for everyone. Do you know what I mean? There's you can't not not that like Hitler was ever funny or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm making this sound real bad, but the point is no. But there's there's stuff you don't want to be around, yeah. Whether or not they make they make eloquent arguments and they sound good there's just stuff they're the sort of people that you don't want to be they, they seriously have superiority issues they think they're better than others and <clears throat> there's good and bad in all, all walks of life this is the issue you can't tar a whole bruh you can't tar a whole demographic with, a, with a one brush just because a few things like oh, i don't know well, 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 you know what, what what you're saying there is is true is that uh, because I, I, I've, I've done a bit of research as well and it does turn out that a lot of the bad people 
are the Jews. Um, I watched a documentary. <laughs> what the fuck are you? We were watching a documentary, right, called The Godfather. I don't know if you've seen uh, The Godfather. Yeah, uh, of course. And it is based on a true story, The Godfather, as well. Uh, uh, so, um, basically... Uh, there he is now. So he's he's muscling in. He's got all his uh, all his riffs going and everything. You know, he's got his place in Las Vegas and everything. And then I can't remember what the guy's name was. Mrs. Gold Eagle will come up and tell me what the guy's name was. It was a, it was a Jewish name anyway. But he started muscling in, and and this the, 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 the Jewish guy in it as well, right? He was like uh, it was like all this double crossing and stuff like that. He wasn't as is that again, Mrs. Gold Eagle. Oh, his name was Roth. His name was Roth. I've got a thing about names as well, because Roth... That is a in, Jewish name. Well, no, no, but as in W-R-A, as in Roth, as in, like, um, not the seven deadly sins, like the, the things, the four the four things of the apocalypse. Is it yeah, the four, the four horsemen, isn't it? What are you on about? Is, the, the, is it not the... the how, is, is that how you say it? It's Roth. How do you say it? Is it rough? No, it's, my, my dog says it all the time. Yeah. Rough. <laughs> but as in rough child. Oh, okay. In, there's Mrs. Yeah. Golding. Oh yeah. Apparently, apparently, it wasn't real. No, but the, the, the thing is, is just that it, it's like um, I've got this thing right about Italians. Okay, right. Every Italian I've ever met, right, has been a thief nasty horrible it's just my experience in life right but it doesn't you think they're all like that then no they're not i, I well i don't know That's... i mean all, all, well. the ones, all the ones i've met are <laughs> it's, like, um, it's like as well um somalians as well I, again i mean right i've met every egyptian really nice but again is that a representation i think there's good and bad in every country, in every race, in every creed, in every colour. Yeah, no, oh, that, you but we, yeah, no. I'm not you surprised. Did for I'm not, yeah, I'm not surprised you've you frozen because it's bloody freezing. Have you have you got that? Have you starting to feel the cold snap? Yeah, coming? it was it was a little bit cold today, yesterday. Coming up, this is cold. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's come off, Mrs. Gold Eagle. That's why I could hear myself in the background. Sorry, Mrs. Gold Eagle. Come and sit down here. Oh, come. Gosh, down the stairs. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Gold Eagle. That's the most the most exercise Mrs. Gold Eagle has had in a while. Yeah, she should be ashamed herself. Yeah, I'll sort it out next Thursday, baby. Um, yeah. So where, where 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 were we, Jim? I lost I lost lost my train of thought. Uh, you froze, and I, I was trying to listen to you, but you didn't. You weren't saying nothing, so I don't know. You was talking about. Uh, well, we got into Roth, Rothschild. Uh, yeah, good and bad, good and bad. In, in that, every... that, that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to say something with that, though. There is there is a caveat to that, right? There are cultures that are, like, diametrically opposed to a Christian way of life, though. That's the thing. I think that's worth yeah, noting. Like, 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 like Islam, for example? That I mean, you could argue. I think I think most Abrahamic religions do conflict with each other. To be honest with you, I think any religion that teaches idolatry is punishable by death, decapitation pr predominantly, is probably something that ain't worth having around you. To be honest, you just sensibly, just like what's that natural instinct of like you? You're trying to make sure that you survive. You like you you, you further your life and your, your family lineage and all that sort of like this really selfish natural instinct. You know, I think it would be sensible to not have them around you if they think chopping your heads off a good idea for not thinking the way they think. Basically. Yeah, sorry about that. The extra noise that came in is because Mrs. Gold Eagle was trying to watch it downstairs. I Chromecast it, and once I've cast it, when it comes back on, the noise comes here. Uh, on there, so Mrs. Gold Eagle shouting in the background. I can't see it. I can't see nothing. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Gold Eagle. I don't know why I'm speaking to Mrs. Gold Eagle because she can't hear it because she's not watching it. Put it on your um, uh, tablet, babes. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, somebody. I read. I read a comment in the uh, chat that I wanted to comment on about. Uh, we we're talking about. Uh, uh, T. Belly Brewster said it's true. They admit it. They think Satan is an angel, and it's all God's plan. 
I'm of the opinion they're Zionist Jews. Unfortunately, I don't know what context that's uh, in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all them. It's all them. <laughs> Uh, Matthew Weiss says uh, he used to work at a Pepsi plant. He left. It was so depressing. Um, uh, Timmy Bobinson said, who would have thought wanting to stay safe and your kids, etc., to be safe would become almost criminal? Oh, yeah. This is what I wanted to talk about. Um, let me just bring in my uh, Twitter feed uh, uh, in here. Just bear with me. Un momento. Uh, because uh, uh, with Drag Queen Storytime, I don't know if you uh, commented on it. Let me just go uh, bring in the, the screen. Uh, in here uh so but uh, what 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 the audience can see on their screen is uh, uh um an argument I i'm noticing lots of arguments going on everywhere uh, and june slater and uh abby roberts uh, and uh one of the people i follow as well. is this to do with the lockdown files yeah yeah this yeah, is yeah. all bollocks i mean you do know that don't you well, it's the same with the what you know. With it's 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 WhatsApp gate is what I'm. Yeah, thinking. yeah, she's yeah. So year. she's had it for a year and yeah, done nothing. Yeah, yeah, but but, but th since when's the media ever shown you anything that they know what they're showing you and they know why they're showing it? You do you know what I mean? There's it's I I I seriously I don't commentate much. I don't give opinions out much because I don't. I seriously, I nearly made myself ill like before the end of the year, just keeping up with it constantly. And it's it's it make you ill, mate. Listening to all that shit all day. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, but uh, there was a um, a guy in a Canadian pastor, uh, which is what I wanted to bring up. A Canadian pastor who's been arrested uh, for doing what you do and that's speaking out at these drag queen story times he's actually been uh, um, arrested and prosecuted it was on um i really should have uh, canada have got them mad laws though haven't they canada canada got them laws if you if you mispronounce someone you misgender someone you get you get in trouble yeah i know i've got to be careful of that because I, I i call people mate and buddy and things like that and it's uh you, you know you can't do that when you're talking to a lady they get cross. Oh, where is it? <laughs> that was Kitty Demore up there, wasn't it? That one there. Yeah. The um, it was on. I, I know what I'll find it. It'll find. Um, it was on. Uh, uh, Tucker Carlson was uh, speaking about it, so I'll find it on his. Tucker Carlson. The thing is, you're right, though, Jim, right? is They're all psyops. They're all psyops, mate. Like, it's all bollocks. Yeah. And, well, and well, it's, all, it's, it's, trying to, it's trying to invoke an emotional response one way or the other, and either way, you're going to feed into it. So it's just, like, fucking retarded. No offence, like, but it's just fucking... I, I ain't got the time for it or the energy. It makes me ill. They, these people literally make me fucking ill. Like, they've, they've blatantly genocided everyone don't give a fuck what color they are they've gone after everyone mate like this is where we're at and then you would still want to fuck about like these people are journalists telling you anything behave man you know 100 percent 100 percent jim uh you know it, it is it is something that I, and i understand as well you know you're saying like oh god does that does, does my head in is that sometimes I, i'll i'll just like go I'll, I'll, I'll be exactly the same you know fuck it now, you know, I was saying that Mrs. Gold Eagle thinks I'm on the spectrum and, and you're on the spectrum, right? Why is it, right, that there are so many people who appear to us that they're on the bloody spectrum? Do, do we, we, yeah, but do you know why that is? Because uh, we 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 all source each other. We all sense each other out and we, we're, we're what's it called to each other. We're all drawn to each other. Because there's like, I'm not being funny. Like, I don't like going out because i don't really like people more often than not the this is what i mean there's a difference <laughs> this this is going to sound proper like supremacy sort of thing like uh, but there there is a level of intellect that you you should have if you're going to leave the house and I find there's plenty of people employed in plenty of jobs that I've just, if I'm not sufficiently medicated, that I'm going to end up losing my rag with. So it's better off I just stay in the gaff, mate, to be honest with you. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I feel the same with my parents. 
because uh, my mum my mum's not been well uh, she was at the hospital and do you know the joy that my son had when he said to me he said oh dad uh, they've said now that you've got to wear a mask if you want to come in because he he knows he knows that I'm not going to wear a mask and he knows that I'm not going to come in you know rather you don't than need to yeah but hang on sorry just to interrupt I know you're explaining it but yeah, you, it was high, you, uh, it was high, whatchamacallit, um, you know. What, if uh, they're shielding, if they're, vum- they're they're very vulnerable and that's the yeah, day. No, no, no. He... Uh, we were actually called in to say goodbye to her. Uh, and uh... she was in dependency. So, so that's why, I, I, and I, I wouldn't want to argue or be yeah, seen to her. Nah, that's and the whole, the whole thing, right, was toxic, right? Absolutely toxic. I got, I got a seven-day ban because um, I did a tweet to uh, at Mariana Spring uh, at BBC. Thank you for radicalising my sister who won't believe uh, mainstream websites about vaccination deaths. Um, and you've radicalised my sister. You've turned into a, uh, you turned her into a bitch. Well, uh, that was all the thing. But because I, I wrote the word bitch, uh, it was for hate speech. And thank you. Seven seven days, which I'm glad about. What on, vi- on Facebook? No, no, Twitter. I don't. I don't do uh, Facebook. They gave you a seven-day ban on Twitter for saying yeah. "bitch." Yeah. Well, I think it was the fact that I tagged uh, Mariana Spring into it. You know, it was a combination of uh, of, 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 of a bot. Um, and the thing is that they they they, they tricked me as well because they said, right, if I delete the tweet, I can come back on. So I deleted the tweet, and then they sent me this message: having further reviewed your tweet. We found it contravened our terms and conditions, and then they gave me the seven-day ban. So I, I then couldn't, because I would have contested it, but because they had the message, you know, it was like, "I'll oh, delete it, delete it, and everything's okay." It's like total. It's it's like this coercion uh, thing, you know. Yeah, well, that's t- exactly that's exactly what it is. Holiday. I had the same thing. I had the same thing after they arrested me in um, Lewisham the other day. They said to me. Basically, we haven't got the resources to interview everyone and to watch the evidence. <clears throat> I said, you've got me here now. It doesn't matter. Like, you can do your job. They said, we want to let you go. I said, all right, so you can let me go. I said, And I said, what about him? They, they said, we're going to let him go. So I said, well, no, you need to do your job. You've arrested everyone. You need to do the fucking job. Do you know what I mean? But then they start like, saying, but we'll let you go. We'll let you go. It's like... What fucking, what what world are you living in? Like, what have you just nicked me for for five fucking hours? Like, this is it's just mental, mate. Lazy cunts. Sorry. Just no, 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 no. We're we're on we're on D Live, so you can say you, I, I always say Lady Garden because. Uh, um, I, 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 but but anyway, um, that that I think was uh, it, it was a perfect example of two tier policing. It was a perfect example of how. They 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 de- demonise you. How you know the guy fucking spat on you? Mm. He spat on you. That that's 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 like um that's like uh, seasoning. He assaulted you. Mm. Joe, you know, that that was a joke then. Well, I was just trying to get a joke. With <laughs> seasoning. Fuck sake. Um, did you, did you see, uh, it was a couple of months ago, and you had all these uh, videos doing the, the, the rounds on Twitter and stuff, of these people walking around naked, you know, just like walk, just walking around naked, like, you know, like what the fuck sort of... Um, Naturists. Uh, well, no, they were just like, they were, I don't know if they were on... Oh, well, hang on, hang on, what are you talking about on the, on the tube, when everyone had the, the pantless tube, the, uh, the trouserless tube journey? Yeah, a couple of months no, no, ago. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know about that. Tell me about that. What, what was uh, that about? Uh, well, I don't know. Just a bunch of fucking liberal lefty weirdos going to get naked in the tube and that. It's what I mean. It's proper Sodom, mate. It is proper Sodom. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But, uh, 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 Carl, Carlos has just uh, uh, written in there. Right? Car- Nuremberg 1.9. Now, the thing is, is that I don't think there'll ever be a, a Nuremberg. You know, a, a, a Nuremberg too. I, I don't think, and and I don't want to be defeated. So I, I was talking what, to. Uh, what was so, Nuremberg one though? What was Nuremberg well, one? Nuremberg one was after after the World War. They right. uh, uh, they, they, they they took to boot uh, mm. all the people that had supported. Uh, you know that the the prison guards, the nurses, the doctors, everyone. 
that had gone with uh, uh, Nazism. Uh, yeah. on the... Now, um, it, so it's... what was Operation Paperclip then? Uh, Operation Paperclip uh, uh, was a load of sheets uh, that were put together with a little bit of metal. Uh, that I. I uh, what was you? You, you tell me what. So we, I, I thought that's where all the Nazi scientists were taken to America. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I know, I know all about that because um, right. I, I do believe. I do actually believe that Hitler didn't die. You know, he's in know, Argentina and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there's actually photographs, mm. and, and it, it's very compelling that's in there. Mm. Um, I, I was called a Holocaust denier. Okay, which has got to be like for for, for some unborn Jewish, right? That's I'm not, yeah, it is mental, right? Now, I'm not a Holocaust denier, but what I am saying is, is there's a lot of the stuff that they told that they're telling us that ain't true. You know, have you not got family then? Have you not got family that was in uh, concentration camps? Um, distant, not no, no main one. Um, my mum and dad uh, went to uh, America, uh, and uh, all, all, with um from our, our family uh thing so like my my great my great grandmother and and my grandmother uh were in america so all, all of all the ones that were alive they they were safe if you know what i mean they, they weren't right. they weren't in poland and they weren't um anywhere caught up with it this so is I've this got, is first hand evidence right right this is what i mean because from what i read up I don't want to keep going on about it and that, but it's it's a weird old thing because there's there's people that say they're against Zionism, right? But these same people are in support and admiration of a man who done the most for Zionism, like that would be Adolf himself. Do you not think? Like because the the Zionist state was he. They, the Rothschilds were paying for people to get repatriated from Germany to Palestine before the war. Like, that yeah. was a whole thing. There's all... But they, but they were also funding both sides. Mm. Mean, Always. Uh, and uh, uh, this, is, this is what... Um, I don't know what you think about Russell Brand, because, uh, I mean, I don't trust him. He's had his... I do this thing with people, Jim, right? And, and it might be a bit um, OC, OCDC or whatever it's called. Um, uh, uh, but I give them three three flags, right? And when, when someone... Uh, so, like, for example, when um, uh, Nigel Farage said, oh, we should trust Tony Blair, okay? <laughs> well, I, 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 then that's a red flag, okay? That, that actually was the third one for, 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 for Nigel Farage. I now won't listen to it. I mean, if there's a clip on Twitter, I'll like watch it. But I now, in my frame of mind, you know, don't don't trust him, don't listen to him, don't want to know nothing about him. And now, mm. Apple Brand, um, uh, he, he came out and he was saying about um, uh, the big corporations like Mercedes Benz and stuff like that. You know, who, who were making making millions of pounds on the thing like that. And mainstream media come down on him like a ton of bricks. Which suddenly made me think, right? Well, you know, it's definitely true, then, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean it's whenever, whenever mainstream, like you know, either shut you up or, or thing? My first thought is, is well, that sounds like it's true then to me, uh, and that that's why there's, there's a guy called Nick Cullistrom. Yeah, he, Doctor he, Nick Cullistrom. Yeah, uh, he is a lovely chat, honestly, yeah. really, really nice bloke, right? And he is totally, totally demonised. By the mainstream media, so mm -hmm. um, I, bought, I bought one of his books about uh, about the Holocaust, and mm -hmm. you know it's uh, it, yeah it's very compelling, and it's something that you ought to have open debate without someone going oh you're a Holocaust denier oh yeah do, do you know what I mean all I'm asking for is just for things to be explained. I'm just looking for his book now. I've got one of his books somewhere. I've borrowed it from my friend. I was just actually looking for it now, Doctor Collistrum. That, that sounds like you stole it from the <laughs> you stole it from the shop. Yeah, I, I borrowed it off a mate. You know. No, honestly, it is. I have got permission for it. <laughs> yeah. Right. So how have we got onto Holocaust now? I feel like. That that wasn't oh, my fault. That that was you brought that up, Simon. I did. I did. Uh, hand hands up. I did. Right. Let's you guide on. Remember, you were saying, "Oh, brilliant! Yeah, I want to talk about things that you don't normally talk about 
you know, on, that's on, what on you the... said. That's what you said. <laughs> what yeah, yeah, but that's what I want to talk with you about is things is things that, that you wouldn't normally talk about and things that you want to say and things that you want to be telling people. Um, other than most of the UNN audience, most of most of us here are are sort of like in the same mind of thinking. We, we're all on the same sort of side. We just like little. Well, so we we don't believe in politics. No one here really believes in politics. Well, I, I I don't. I mean, politics is dead as far as I'm concerned. I think I think it can be revived if we have a great reset. But you see, I'm 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 I'm. That's I'm, a funny choice. That's a funny choice of words there, Simon. Yeah. Well, no, no. I want, I want a great reset. I want our own great reset. I want that achieved by a revolution. Again, I watched a documentary what? about it called Les Miserables. When you say, when you say revolution, okay. Well, we can have a peaceful one, but you know, you don't. You remember, you remember uh, in Romania uh, with uh, Pinochet, right? Mm, right. You know, it was peop- it was people power. It only takes, I think, it's three percent of the population to, ha- that's, to have a revolution. That, that's what um, that's what Roger Roger, what's his name? The XR, the top fucking cult leader, Roger Hallam, is really? it? I think yeah, I think his dissertation. I think he wrote a paper. His paper in college was about when. Oh, so like, initially was Argentina. Yeah, sorry. What was the guy? What was the guy in uh, Romania, babe? <laughs> oh, Ceausescu. Yeah, sorry. I was quite. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Uh, where would you be, C? So, I, where would you be without her? I tell you what, I would be lost, mate. I would be lost. Uh, you know, it, 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 this is this is in in our time over the last three years to have that somebody that you could talk to uh, and not argue with. Do you know what I mean? Someone else you could agree with and 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 chat. And because I I I had this theory, right? Is that the injection, right? Not that I was ever going to take it. But my theory was, was they were going to inject everyone, right? All of us who were objecting about it wouldn't take it. So they then put something out, something real out there, something really fucking nasty. Because we haven't had the inoculation, you know, you can tell me, oh, vaccine, you know, uh, the, the things don't exist or whatever like that. But that's how my brain was thinking is is because um, because I, I Mrs. Gold Eagle, what Mrs. Gold Eagle said to me that put me right on that is she said, Simon, they want to kill us all. <laughs> you know, they, they, they don't care about the people that are compliant or they're not. They don't care. Mm. You know, these people are, they're maniac. They're, what's it called when you're... Psychopaths. Uh, psychopaths. These people are psychopaths. They want every, they don't care about you uh, on there. And, and that, that put me right. Although now and again, I, I start getting like little, paran- little paranoid things like, maybe, maybe, maybe I was right. <laughs> I mean... They definitely do want us all dead. So, you know, I think we've got to a stage. It's like they keep, they, they tell you, they tell you, you watch Noah Harari, you've seen all these people, they all these, they talk about us since with utter contempt of the useless eaters and the rest of it, you know. They've got their computers, they don't need us anymore. Yeah, who's, who's Pierre Palmade? Palmade, we got, we got. Say there's French in the chat. Yeah, 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 there's a French, there's a Frenchman in the chat. Salut, bonsoir. Let's, uh, let's have a look at it. See what he's saying. He was saying something about. Uh, let me just go uh, as it comes up uh, on on the bottom there. Um, I, I used to be fluent at French, but that was like four, th- four, 30, 40 years ago. Um, so, aucun fichier pédé pour. So there was a there was a, a, a pornographic pedo uh, who was being uh, found on the computer of Pierre Palmade. Who's Pierre Palmade? Yeah. Uh, excusez-moi, monsieur. Est-ce que c'est possible si vous pouvez expliquer à moi parce que je suis imbécile uh, qui est <laughs> s'il vous plaît oh. où, où est qui est qui est monsieur Pierre Palmade? You know what happens when you speak French, Simon? <laughs> right, you like it? <laughs> you, like you like you like the French kiss? That's well, for sure. <laughs> Uh, you stupid woman. <laughs> hey, chat. You know what? <coughs> oh, fuck. Would you like me to sing a song? <laughs> yeah, I got to, I got to, I got to, oh, I'm sorry, Trent. I'm down. sorry. Gym, right? I'm in my pyjama top, but he's just dumping me in the chair. I'm so wait. sorry, love. Yeah, you're you're in control now. Random. Yeah. 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 
I tell you, hello everybody in chat, love you lots. Um, the telly's gone off downstairs, so I'm having trouble watching you. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm running up and down the stairs. It's <laughs> gone off. It's no oh, good, you yeah. need to get him to fix it for you. Well, no, we can't get him to fix nothing. He just spends all his time doing this stuff. That's why I, <laughs> I don't mind him telling girls they're beautiful on the stream. All the girls are beautiful, right? But at least take the time to come tell me I'm beautiful now and again. <laughs> <laughs> you get this off your missus, Tim. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what I mean. This is this is why I thanked Simon earlier on for giving a good warning like, about getting hugs on the stream <laughs> from yourself. Don't like. get hugs off. Of Mama Gold, always. <laughs> I just got to drop this in the in this conversation because between me coming up before and me coming up now, my adopted son, my part adopted son, young James Harvey, uh, just rang me randomly and said, "Did you notice something, Michelle?" When he went up before, I went, "No." He said, "Simon said as he was leaving, I see you next Thursday." You don't know what he meant, do you? I went, "Well, I know." I I said, "Maybe he's talking about." The joke he makes about our, our our dress up Thursdays and all this nonsense. He went, no, he was saying, see you next Thursday. Do you know what I mean? He said, I was just telling you so you could go up and have a row with him. So thank you. Thank you, James. But it didn't stir the pot enough because I realised he was talking about the actual Thursday. <laughs> well, there you, you go. Get what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, tell you what, James, the child, you're going to have to watch you stirring the pot. I'm going to come up here with a frying pan in one hand and a rolling pin in the other. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going now. Okay. Oh, nice so to see you. And you, and you're not in chat. Love you, I, I haven't got much time. I, I want, I want to. Staggering off and leaving me sitting in the chair. There. I, I had to pee, babe. Sorry, I had to pee. Um, yeah. Right, Jim. Yes, Simon. What I want to talk about, right, is remember I said like uh, I, I want to address some things that you want to that, that 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 you want to address. Yeah. Uh, so, so the floor, the floor is yours. Right. right. What do you think? Okay, is the biggest thing that's worrying you at the moment, or is that is is the uh, is it the CD the, you know the central uh, digital bank system coming through? Is it the fact of the that they're pushing this war and we want World War Three? Is it is it uh, what 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 in your mind should we as freedom fighters as the as the the the, the, the feet out there? What do you reckon? Yeah. We Oh, Every um, obviously, I think actions speak louder than words. So I'm going to say what I think is most important to myself and what I think is most should be most important to everyone is defending and protecting the innocence of children. We need to be spreading as much, making as much noise and spreading as much awareness about the grooming of children into queer ideology, into Marxism, all through the the states through libraries and then eventually it will be in the curriculum uh, soon enough you won't be able to move your children your children will be getting indoctrinated with it at school and you won't be allowed to homeschool them as a result of patriotic alternatives f efforts trying to fuck up everything that we're trying to do basically yeah i know there's a lot of stuff that seems all very important world war three viruses it's all fake and gay mate at the end of the day they're trying to nonce children and groom children and that's where my efforts are and i i urge and implore and really do pray that other people will start to get on board and start to have a pop about it because it it i'll be it's been going on a while now it'd be nice to have a bit of help uh, I, I tell you what, well, well, well said there. I, it's a shame I didn't have. I, I, I'm going to clip that and put that up on Twitter, mate. Because that, that, <laughs> well, thanks for that. I wish I'd have known. <laughs> no. well, I, no. I, I agree. That's why I'm going to Manchester on uh, March the 11th um, uh, because James Harvey uh, he, he's highlighting the facts of this woke uh, 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 Marxist agenda that they're teaching in the university and and how. Just because you have a different point of view, they'll shut you down and, you know... Not I see a video of his mate. Sorry to interrupt. I see a video. He's got a black mate, I believe. Or I don't know. Yeah, he's, well, yeah. yeah, and he was up the university. I've seen him trying to fucking Nancy him off, calling him PA and all this sort of shit. And this is what I mean. Like, just the, just the fact that they've got... It's so perfect, isn't it? Like, they've got this organisation that just so happens to be, like... 
no, a geezer who's got this photo with this woman who's got the Nazi stuff, and you've got Joe Walsh, whatever his fucking name is, we've got his tattoo, like, we've got swastikas everywhere. Do you know what I mean? And the, the, for people that talk about optics, oh, mate, sorry to go on about them. They just drive me. It, and it ain't the boys. The boys are all obviously there for the right reason. That It's just the fucking leaders, mate. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, uh, Professor Puglisi uh, says, I, I don't know if it's Puglisi, I do apologise if I haven't spelled that right. Uh, she's asked in chat, uh, what have PA said about the homeschooling? No, but they're after, they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to, talk about it if you go on their website they're trying to get people to do it and i think there's going to be some sort of that this this they're, they're after it anyway they're, they're going after it anyway if you if you notice that they've actually made rse and pshe um oblig, uh, oblig, ob, obligatory and you have to you have to have them if you're in state school you have to sit them and that even goes as far as uh special needs schools also are being forced with this sexual ideology through rse through pshe now the point is you can't you can't get them out of these lessons now there was a time as a parent you could say for religious reasons for whatever reasons just for philosophical reasons i don't want my child sitting in that lesson i don't want them in that assembly whatever they they stopped that now and the next the next grab because this is all a land grab whether it's land property or or just your rights it's all the grab for just say for instance your rights is the land they're grabbing your rights and it's your right to take your child out of school is next it's on the agenda it's and it will happen and it, i just find it i don't believe in coincidences i just find it very fitting and strange that the well strange and fitting i should say that these um people that they've been looking to prescribe for the last however many years since it started because they've come from a terror organization that's already been prescribed national action <clears throat> two of the top fellas mark mark collette and sam melia so it's there's just a lot i'm talking about that again i, I didn't start talking about that for some <laughs> what happened but what, what's really funny is jim is that you and i are, are actually very much alike and so we both we both meander in our conversation so this, this is sort of like a nightmare for our audience you know, <laughs> yeah on proper shit at it mate another. and now back onto holocaust <laughs> <laughs> oh no uh, fuck yeah. so um the, the thing is, is that uh, uh, he, G, uh, Mark Collette was on um, uh, David's show the other day, mm. and uh, I, I thought that he was very moderate in uh, when he was when he was chatting. He's a liar. Today. He's just an out and out liar. Oh, not clues. You're talking about clues being moderate, was you? Yeah, yeah. Or, 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 or his clues. It's clues an out and out liar. No, 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 no. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, um, I, I what's have. It? I, I I have given David clues. No red flags. Fair enough. No, I'll bear that in no, mind. No, that actually means something. No, no, no. Coming from you, that actually means something. So I'll, I'll actually hold, I'll take believe that on board. Me, Jim, right? And you have worked right. with Finch as well. You believe me, right? If, right. if, if David Clues ever, ever gave out an inkling, right, of being yeah. controlled or anything like that, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be fucking shouting it to the, I, I, I'd be his worst enemy. Do you know what I mean? So, right. uh, but, but I was yeah, going to say about Colette though, wouldn't I? He's a liar, yeah. yeah, because he wants to tell everyone. This is another thing. You want it's, it's white nationalism, yeah. The geezer's not a white nationalist. For anyone that's listening, like I urge you again to, because he won't talk to me. So these people, if you hear something, you're going to have to broach the conversation yourself because he won't have it with me, right? But ask him. Say, how can you be a white nationalist? If all your rhetoric and the stuff you listen to comes from pan Europeans, like you're a pan, you're not a white nationalist. You're just a whitest. You like being around other white people. That's what it is. You don't want closed borders for the for the sake of your nation. You would you quite happily have open borders with other white European nations. Now that to me is not a nationalist. Do you see what I'm saying? I, I know exactly what you're saying. Now, what I'm very keen to have, right, because I'm all for debate. I'm all for talking about it because the more you don't talk about things... That, um, oh, hang on. I wanted to say something Go on in. in respect to that comment, Jim. He might be a white nationalist, but my husband here is white, born in London, English, unfortunately. <laughs> Not really. I love him. But, like, you know, he's also Jewish by birth, he's, but he's a Christian. But Amen. Hallelujah. 
And um, yeah, and but but Marx, uh, Marx, uh, white nationalism wouldn't extend extend to this man here. He no, to this and is what I mean. Yeah. This is what I mean. So it's all bollocks. He's he's a liar. The fundamentally, also remember that all psychopaths are very good liars, and they will appear to be whatever buys them that opportunity that they're looking 100%. for. Hundred percent. So 100%. you know, we're the fools. We're not fools. Well, that's my take on it. And I just don't like hateful. I think you're right. I'll make you I right. Don't like hate. <laughs> whatever, uh, whoever spreads hate, whatever religion, whatever nationality has got nothing to do with God or good or Christ. And that's amen. Amen. So, well um, said, what, that what lady. What I was saying before, right, is um, uh, is that I'm all for debate, and and this is something that Unity News Network is really good for. So I, I, I want to speak to uh, David because uh, um, uh, there was a I, I, I subscribe to uh, I actually like Nick Griffin. Nick Griffin's actually quite very based, and I like I like a lot of the stuff that Nick says, and he he shares a lot of um, uh, Nick Cotton uh, unwashed jacked uh, uh, tweets and um, mm. uh, and stuff. And he, he was saying David had Mark Collette on for that show, and uh, he, he uh, I saw it on uh, Nick Griffin's uh, thing. He said. Uh, uh, why didn't Mark Collette, you know, Mark Collette needs to answer these 17 things or whatever that he said, these 17 questions on there. So what I want is I want I want that debate and I want I want people like you because you want to speak, speak to him. I'd I love that debate. Need... If you could make that happen, Simon, I would rate you so high. I rate you in very high esteem anyway, mate, because you are yeah. you're your proper stuff. But. Like he won't have it. I've emailed him numerous times, and he, he gives to emails. no. Has he you... gives it all this spawns when he goes on the live stream. He goes, I, I respond to all emails. Okay, Talks like right. a politician, doesn't he? What I will do because da David has David has his email, and he obviously responds to David. So I will ask David to do me a favour and forward your email. So if you if you email me, I'll put my uh, email up on up on here now. Okay, right, so you can see it. Right, you email um, uh, to me, Simon Gold at gmx dot co dot. I've still got your email address, Simon. You've still got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, brilliant, 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 brilliant. Um, email, but email it to me, but not to me, if you know what I mean. Uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll CC copy. you in it. I'll carbon yeah, copy you into it. Me in it. Okay. Um, I'll ask David uh, uh, to uh, uh, see if what we can do is get him just to answer to answer first of all your emails and and address it because uh, bear in mind he will be getting a lot of uh, um, a, a I lot don't of doubt emails. it. I don't you know, care, yeah. and and you know, okay, I'll, I'll buy, I'll buy, you know, oh yeah, sorry, I didn't see that, and yeah, I will, I will address it. But I'll um, see if I can get that sorted because that would be a first step, just to hear what they say. I mean, it might be bollocks. What, 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 what you know, he, he may answer you with bollocks if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. But at least then you'll get an answer. Whereas the answer at the moment is, oh, he's not replied to me. Well, that that isn't really in in your argument. Is yeah, I I I, I agree. You know, he should have bit, but. He might, he might have not seen it. Do you know what I mean? He, yeah, he, no, or, that's or, fair enough. But it has been over the space of about six months and there has been several attempts. Yeah. But uh, uh, what I'll do is I'll get him to see it, acknowledge it, and then uh, even if he comments back and says, oh, I don't want to talk to this guy, he's a twat, or, or whatever he says, I'll find out what, what the answer is, what the reason is uh, on there. Thank um, you, Simon. But, but, but as well, you see, like, with this thing with um, uh, that, that Nick uh, Cotton is saying is like, oh, Mark Collette, yeah. Well, you know, let's let's have that debate. Let's get it out there, uh, you know, because you know, you were talking earlier about that um, uh, the after the it was after F uh, Britain First uh, conference uh, when uh, uh, Mark Collette was with this other guy, and apparently the other guy can't answer. He's died apparently. You know, the the other guy that was yeah, in that I've heard. I've heard. I, well, I thought it was a BMP conference. Was it BMP? What was Nick Griffin with? Yeah, BMP. Yeah. Was he BMP? Was he? Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I stand, I stand corrected. I mean, to be honest, they all sort of like uh, they, there are so many different parties now. I've I've lost it with knowing, you know, there's English Democrats, uh, the Freedom Alliance, I mean, like that. I'm. I, it's it's just literally go. It's gone. It's gone over. I my think head. it's all a grift. I think if there's anyone doing anything like that, they're not they're not trying to 
make serious change. They're just trying to grift, mate. To be honest with you, because at, at the end of the day, the 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 PA are on to something. They're half right about something, yeah. And that is, people do want to be governed by smart people, people that are well presented, and they don't mind taking an, an order. Like fundamentally, we are a, cre a creation of God. We are we are built to worship. Yeah, in worship, that's you. You take orders that, like, you worship the Lord, and He tells you how to live correctly. Now, the same sort of principle applies. People don't mind taking their orders from someone as long as long as they they half know what they're on about. They're well presented and they speak well. But along with that, you can't. The you there's there's stuff that you can't do at the same time, and that's be a fucking weasel. And that you can't so you can't try and say you're here to defend anything if you're just an out and out weasel. And that's basically where we're at with the front runners, I think. Yeah. Well, do you know I've just I've just realised uh, I've got Christy and Sasha, my next guests on, and I just looked at the time, and that time has gone so bloody quick. I mean, I did know it was it was about 14, 15 minutes ago. I said, I, "Come on, Mrs. Goldie, I want to, I want to, I want to get some some talk out." Jim, it's been absolutely brilliant speaking to you, mate. Thanks for having me, um, Simon. We will we will see you on the streets because uh, uh, Mrs. Gold Eagle and myself are, are getting out on the streets. But a date for your diary, the twenty first, twenty second of April. Yes. Please come to the UNN party. We don't know where it's going to be yet. Most probably, um, you remember the old Trump pub? Uh, they keep on the lock. They've changed the name of it again. Somewhere like that. It might. We'll, we'll, we'll let you know where it is. So there's the party Friday night, and then on the Saturday, no, sorry, it's the, well, on the Wednesday before that, we're doing a rally outside Parliament, which I'll be there, uh, and then the Friday night's a party, and then Saturday is a is another rally. Right. Okay. So that's a date for the diary. Because what did that, you say? The twenty first. Yeah, twenty first and twenty second. The party is, is on the Friday night on the twenty first. It's a UNN uh, uh, party. So uh, sounds where exciting. We, where we, yeah, where Thank we can drag down our sorrows. Thanks for the invite, Simon. Uh, I, I, Will I, Mark I, be there? <laughs> I, I doubt it. I've never seen. I've never seen Mark on all, every Freedom Rally I've been on. Oh no, been, been he was calling Mark. people conspiracy theorists at the start of all it, wasn't he? Uh, I don't know. I don't know because I. I, I reckon he's jabbed up, mate. <laughs> Yeah, no. Nah, this is what. Oh, I um, yeah. Uh, that 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 was actually. Uh, I I I think he was as well. He said he entered um, America via Mexico or something like no, that. No, he was going to. I don't. St I don't keep up with all that. But he said he was going to because I see what. Yeah. But what at Jack the end said. of the day, to be calling people out, whether they're double jabbed or triple jabbed or whatever, I mean, it's holding things against people. Anyway. I've got, I've got to go. Yes, um, thanks for having me, Sai. Because nice that's one. a long, because that's a long story. But we'll, we'll, we'll keep on that because yes. it's good to have the conversation. And this conversation with you, Jim, is absolutely brilliant. You take care, mate. Have a, a enjoyable rest of the evening. Bye, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, 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 bye.